So we have for a long time had the ability to transport iFlows and then configure the iFlows in your QN productive landscape. Now we have added a feature that just allows you to apply the configuration in the, the landscape. So you can have the same kind of approval process each time you're making a configuration and not just make it directly into the system. So to do this, you will then select the iFlow and the iFlow configuration. You can assign to ticket with this, with a DRID or whatever we want to use as a part of the reason we're selecting this and we can select which landscape we want to have as a part of this. We can then see which object is a part of this. Um, we can start the transport of iFlow configuration only and this will allow us actually to transport only the configuration and this obviously is a little faster. Um, and here, what we have is we have the ability here to configure specific value in our QA and productive system, all shown in this table here. So, so we can just change our API keys to 777. We can save this and we can send it to approval that means we will be able to approve and see who have approved that this change is correct and you have the same governance processes along the way another thing once you're approving you can obviously go in and check what's the difference that the guy is trying to apply here and stuff like that so now we can see here we can import it and that will allow us then to see this iflow has been configured with the specific information um, and obviously this just makes it a lot easier to manage your CPI flow because you're able to, to transport and govern the full life cycle uh, of your changes. So now the transport is completed and what we can then go in, we can see here, if we open the iFlow, we can see here in our target system that it has been configured with the relevant va values. So here we have the configuration, we have our API key here and it is also being deployed if that is what you have defined here. But this gives us a really good understanding about which changes apply to which uh, iFlow changes and stuff like that, making it a lot easier to understand what's changed in your landscape. Uh, this is already available in uh, the latest build 2101.